Come on. Here we go. Very quiet, guys. Roll, please. And action! They spend a ton of money on me, I tell you. I don't like this word, but I'm kind of a celebrity. All the great storylines, they speak to universal things that have been around forever, good versus evil. Our good is very messed up good. He's quite compromised in a million different ways, but at the end of the day, Hodges is the gunman. Don't even think about it. He's the lone warrior. He's the guy who's supposed to protect society, and Brady's the homegrown evil. <laughs> We've all been afraid of the boogeyman, and that's what Brady represents. Huh? You want me to fix your truck? <laughs> Year two, Brady is down and out, but not altogether extinguished. You, you're still ticking. So the challenge, both for Stephen King originally and for us as the storytellers, was how do we activate Brady Hartsfield? Hi. Hi, yeah. So it was nice to do some scenes with Brendan. I was told he was in this series, but I didn't meet him last year. <laughs> so it was good. We've had a few scenes, albeit in his dream. And cut! Cut it! This year, it was a wonderful treat to actually have them play together. They're nightmare scenes, but we still are waiting for the real sit-down between Hodges and the real world and Brady. If you just tune in and say, show me a thriller where there's a bad guy out there wreaking havoc and there's a good guy going after him. You want to put me in prison. I think that's there. But for those who want a little bit more, what's inside these characters? He's awake. What are they questing for? That is there too. I'm telling you, he's in there. Mr. Mercedes returns Wednesday, August 22nd at 10 on Audience.